All right, to start our project, you are going to turn your paper sideways so that it is horizontal, like a landscape, which is kind of confusing because we're going to be drawing a portrait. But we want to turn our paper sideways so that we have a lot of room to draw our face. So I've already drawn mine in pencil, but I'm going to show you how to do this step by step by tracing over my pencil lines with a Sharpie. The first step you're going to do is to draw two vertical lines, and they're going to be pretty much in the middle of your paper. So you'll have one for the left side of your face and two for the right side of your face. Okay, next we're going to draw our chin, and our chin is going to be kind of pointy, like a triangle. So you'll take a diagonal line going down that way, and a diagonal line going up to your vertical line. So kind of have a pointy chin, but that's how Romero Brito draws his chins. The next thing you're going to add to your drawing is your hair. Um, and in the style of Romero Brito, we're going to do some really simple shapes for the hair. So we're not going to be drawing stringy hairs. We're going to be drawing shapes that kind of block out where our hair is. You won't see any Romero Brito paintings or drawings where he has drawn individual hairs. All of his hair that he draws is shapes instead of lines. So you can see kind of right here where my hair overlapped part of my vertical line from my face and I can just erase it. Y'all are going to be using a pencil first anyways before you go over yours with a sharpie so you'll have plenty of chances to fix any mistakes that you make. So you're going to keep going with your hair and I will have some examples for you guys to look at on different styles of hair. You're going to think about your own hair, but you are going to be drawing it in the style of Romero Brito. So whatever kind of hairstyle you have, you're going to draw it like Romero Brito would draw it. So using shapes instead of long stringy lines. All right. Next, we're going to be drawing the nose. The nose comes straight down from the hair and makes an L shape. Okay. And then next, we're going to do the eyes. You can choose to draw your eyes closed, kind of like in a happy smile like mine are. Or you can choose a different way to draw your eyes. Next, you'll draw your mouth and you can do a smile or whatever kind of mouth you want to do. So next um, I added dimples onto my face. Um, my dimples on my face are very distinctive and they kind of make me who I am. Um, if you have some kind of defining char characteristic like if you wear glasses or if you have freckles or something that makes you you I want you to add that onto your self-portrait so if you don't have dimples like me then you don't need to draw dimples on yours but I'm drawing dimples on my portrait because that makes me me Romero Brito likes to put shapes on his portrait's cheeks. So if you want to add some shapes to your cheek just like that, you can. Um, lastly, we're going to be drawing our neck. So that's going to be two vertical lines coming from our chin like this. And then a kind of curved line to connect those vertical lines. That's going to be our neck, the bottom part of our neck. And then two diagonal lines that make our shirt. And voila, we are done with our Romero Brito portrait.